Today, we're going to talk about how to calculate the rate of change. And we're going to use the encoder that we've set up in the previous videos to do it. In those videos, we talked about how to wire an encoder to a Micro 850 PLC. We configured it in Connected Components Workbench, and we're using the PLC tools Sim EOC to simulate our encoder spinning. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it because we can make a simple sample rate timer here to do it. But this is also a good time to talk about how we can do an interrupt to make a periodic program. So let's talk about how to do it in Prog 1 first. I'm going to bring down a new rung and we'll bring down and go look for a zero. And we'll bring down an instruction, double click, and we are going to be looking for a T-O-N. And this is T-O-N underscore one. So right here, I'm going to put T-O-N underscore one dot U. And for my preset, I'm going to put T number sign one S. And that means I'm going to make a one second sample timer. Now we have a video that goes through how the sample timer works and I'll have a playlist at the end of this one that explains it in detail. But for the purposes of this video, every one second, this TON underscore one dot Q will be true for one scan. So I'm gonna bring another rung down and we're gonna bring a go look for our one down and we're just gonna copy this. And we're going to paste it right in there. Then we're going to bring down an instruction block. And we'll double click on it. And I am in the default theme because I've been trying to learn about it. If you were in the logics theme, we'd be looking for the SUB subtract instruction. But in the default theme, it is just simply the subtract symbol. And we are going to go find the high speed counter accumulated value that we configured in the previous video. And then for the Second one, I'm going to call this one previous ACC. And for the result, I'm going to put it in one called difference in ACC. And that'll be a dent. Oops, and I think I made a mistake. Did I put a data type on this one? Let's just double click on the bottom. It'll take us to it. And I forgot to. This needs to be a double integer. Is that the way they're all mapped? And then I'm going to bring another instruction block down. And we're going to find an MOV move instruction. And I'm going to move that same accumulated value to the previous ACC. Now, this is going to take once per second This when this is true. And it's going to subtract the current accumulated value from the previous accumulated value. And that's going to put it in the difference in ACC. And then I'm going to move the accumulated value to the previous ACC, which is these two. And one second later, it'll do the subtract again. So this is going to be the rate of change in seconds. Now, just so we could see the other way to do it, if you double click on your Micro 850 and you go to interrupts here, we can make interrupts. And so I'm going to right click programs, add, and we'll go ahead and do the same ladder diagram for this one. And then on my interrupt, I'm going to add an interrupt. And there's several different ones, but the STI is a really good one to know about. And we are going to just use zero. You could have up to four of these. And I'm going to use PROG3. And I'm going to use auto start. That way it works all the time. And it's going to be a thousand milliseconds because that will be one second. And notice you get a little symbol here now. So if you see this in your program, that'll tell you something. This thing's only executing once a second. So this is like the continuous task in Studio 5000. It's going to run as fast as it can. This one right here is a periodic task. It's going to run once a second. Now that's very generalization. That's not exactly what it means, but that'll get us through this part. So now I'm just going to right click this wrong and we're going to copy it and we're going to go over to Prog Theory and we're going to paste it. Now we're going to do a little work to this. As first, we don't even need the TON here. This accumulated value will find. I'm just going to call this my ACC STI because it is the selectical time interrupt. We can double click on the bottom and we will need to make this a dent. And then we're going to put that into ACC STI. And we can double click on the bottom of that one as well. 
and we'll make that one a dent. And then we need to copy this and we'll put it here. And let's go ahead and download this program. If you need any help downloading your program, creating the file, or you're wondering how we configured any of this, hit the subscribe button and you'll find all these videos in our lessons section. And as you're building this, you're gonna get this warning about multi-thread access to global variable may be surrounded by calls to the UID or UIED. And maybe we'll cover them later. For our application, these are perfectly fine. We're gonna continue with the warnings and we'll put it back into run mode. And now it'd be really nice to be able to compare these two values. Well, we gotta get our counter back going first. Over here, actually, yeah, we still have our spy list from last time up. So, in fact, we still have it on a mode of six, and I still have this open over here. A mode of six is just a quadrature counter, so this is just gonna keep counting up. And we have this in a three right now. We're gonna put in a one to make it run. And we can see our accumulated value changing now. And it's showing like 10,000-ish right now. So what I'm gonna do is right click the difference in ACC STI. We're gonna add it to the spy list. And then we're gonna go up to Prog 1. And we're gonna get the difference in ACC and add it to the spy list. And widen this column out that way we can see. So this is the STI method and this is the ACC method. And we seem to get an ever so slight variation in them. And that just has to do with this SDI is actually taking priority. It probably is slightly more accurate, but if we switch our frequency to 10 Hertz, that means we're gonna have a change in rate of 10 per second. And both of these are showing 10 now. And if we switch it to 100, then both of them are showing 100. And if I press the frequency button again, that's gonna give us a thousand per second. And now we show a thousand per second here. As promised, here is a playlist showing how we configured our high-speed counter, how we did the sample rate timer, and a couple other helpful videos.